look like that. Son. Your son. Bring your book back I'll up. I'll check later. I'm not talking about that. Check right now because I already put away all your clothes. Why do you really not use wet wipes? If you take a shit on a floor, yeah, are you going to wipe it with toilet paper? I don't have time for these conversations. That's dirty as hell. What? What are you, Dummy? Pitbull? Dummy? You sound like Pitbull. You're going to beat the shit out of me on my birthday. Put tattoo on your face. I'll weave you. We need to get a deletable face tat. No. It's deletable. Michael, stop. I'll get one of my four friends that says, I love mommy. All right. Hello, guys. Did not notice. We now have 500 subscribers. Every YouTube milestone I have, I do a Q&A. So right now, if you have literally any single question at all, no matter what it is, big, small, uh, stupid, funny, serious, no, like just any question at all that you have for me, let me know in the comments right now. Don't be shy. I need... Uh, I would need probably like, I don't know, 15 or so comments to make it an actual video. Also, I'm sorry I didn't upload yesterday. It was just, uh, they, yesterday was, it was just rough. I don't know, man. I've been feeling kind of weird lately. Like, I just haven't been feeling myself like how I normally am. I haven't had as much motivation to like record and everything like that. Or even in general, I just haven't had a lot of motivation to even like get out of bed sometimes. I don't know, man. I think I have to take a break from social media. You know what? That's like, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to delete Instagram. Obviously, I'm going to keep recording uploading videos and shit. I was in good chat. Oh, that's so awkward. Yeah, anyway, like I was saying before, I was rudely interrupted. I need to take a break from social media. I'm deleting Instagram. Um, Obviously, I need to keep TikTok to like make TikToks and reply to comments. Obviously, I'm going to keep uploading. I know a lot of you guys also DM me on TikTok. Obviously, I'm going to keep that, but I'm not going to scroll through the For You page or anything like that. Social media is, is good, but it also definitely has its bad sides. The human brain is constantly comparing itself to other things, right? So when you hop on social media, subconsciously, your brain's gonna start comparing it to like other people's lives. And I think it's 10 times worse when you're actually a content creator because you see all of these other creators that have millions of subscribers. There's channels extremely successful. They're making millionaires and everything like that. And maybe they don't flex it. The views and the subscriber count still shows. Honestly, I think it's just a good idea to take a break from social medias every now and then because it's just, it could get really bad like people get serious mental illness from social media itself because of that same exact concept it's honestly interesting how they're changing main overwatch 2 they're actually taking away her freeze completely making it so that her primary fire only slows you down which i actually i think is a really good addition honestly i'm really looking forward to overwatch 2 to be completely honest with you i really am i'm pretty sure it's like confirmed that it's coming out in 2022 a lot of people are saying that it's not going to be very popular honestly it's gonna it's going to be popular simply because overwatch 1 was a really popular game and all of the people that were overwatch players are gonna return to the game whether it's good or not because they've enjoyed the game at one point they're gonna try it again they're not just gonna yeah, genji's kind of insane though genji's one of those characters if he's on your team he's either like hard carrying or just hard throwing there's no in between probably because he's a burst dps he's not really consistent damage he does poke damage and then once he sees an opening he'll go for some shit it's either like a hit or miss with him especially in this comp honestly i really miss rush comp personally i think rush comp brawl and goats no, those are my favorite metas a lot of people hated goats goats was fun as hell it, it just was. Yeah, I feel like the only people that really hated goats were DPS players because they couldn't play their role. You really wouldn't die fast. You would do a lot of damage. Just in general, you would have fun. Goats wasn't a bad meta. Was it annoying? Yeah, it was a little annoying. Every single meta has its flaws. There's not a single meta that's the perfect Overwatch meta. It's just never going to happen. There's always going to be something that's annoying about it. There's always going to be something that's really good about it. There's never going to be the perfect meta. Personally, I I just think those metas are the, were the most fun to play in. My opinion, the worst metas were Bunker, definitely Double Shield, and probably this one, honestly, the current meta. The thing is, the current meta doesn't even have a name. It's like, these characters are just better than these characters. That's kind of just what the meta is right now. Although, this meta does have really good upside, and it's that pretty much any comp is viable. You could play Rush if you want to, you could play Double Shield if you want to. I don't advise it because nobody has fun in Double Shield. Play Dive... You know, pretty much anything goes, which is what I like. You have more options. You have, there's more things you can play around with. The downside for me is that mainly I'm a Lucio player and Lucio is pretty bad right now. I'm playing him in a certain comp. He's really not that good. Nine times out of 10, when I play comp, people just ask me to swap to Baptiste because the character is literally just 30 times better. Another downside of this meta is that I don't think that's really the meta's fault. I think it's more of just like the game balancing in Overwatch itself. There's just characters that are just 11 millions of times better than other characters, no matter what. Baptiste too way too overpowered wrecking ball way too overpowered and it's not even like this character is kind of overpowered because they could do this or that no it's like these baptiste in specific is just extremely overpowered to the point where it's just too fucking much because this character does way too much damage to be a main healer i literally feel like i say this every video and i probably sound like a broken record but they really need to make it so that he's good at one or the other either make him really strong damage wise or make him really strong healing wise 
You, you can't have a character that can de delete tanks and delete people and also have one of the best sustains in the entire video game. It's just unfair. That's literally just terrible game balance. And I hope they realize that. It, it's impossible to balance a game perfectly, which is why metas exist. So in my opinion, metas shouldn't even exist. There should be no such thing as this is the meta. You should be able to just play whatever you like, but obviously that's not possible, especially when you get into higher ranks. Please stop. So they just took me out of Horizon Little Colony, put me back into a parish that's already over that I just received a loss for. Holy shit, I'm about to go play Paladins. <laughs> I actually played Paladins once. It was all right. It just felt really, really weird. I probably liked it if I actually played it more, but I just, I don't know, man. I played it once and I was like, to me, it was just like, okay, this game's fun and all. And I guess it's pretty cool, but like, I'll just play Overwatch. It's a fun game, but in my opinion, Overwatch is just 10 times better. Why play Paladins when Overwatch already exists? This game just feels uh, more like finished, if that makes sense. Although it's ass, but the only reason the game is ass is because they have, they don't release content. They've definitely gotten better with game balancing, but character balancing has always been a huge problem in this game, which is understandable in my opinion, because we're not the game developers. So we don't understand how hard it actually is to develop an FPS team-based shooter with MOBA aspects because you have to take into account every single map every single every single team composition every single team matchup every map the counters of the character you have to take into account who the character counters you know it's just a lot of things that you have to really focus on <laughs> ginormous Lucio difference you see that Lucio getting double kills under DPS I don't I haven't seen I haven't seen him got a kill actually That's literally cap though. All right, whatever. Your name is Step Bro. You're playing Doomfist. That's all I need to say. I don't even have to say a joke to make my, my followers laugh right now. Your name is Step Bro and you're playing Doomfist. That's it. They already fucking chuckled. Where the walls literally go in and out. It's literally just adding such an unnecessary RNG aspect. How do I think about it? Not even the characters that Overwatch came out with sucks. Even the maps. Obviously, Paris, Horizon Blue Colony, all shit maps. But even Busan is pretty bad. Like, this point's fine. I don't have a problem with this point because it kind of makes sense. But that other point is absolute ass crack. I'm not gonna lie, though, that New York map from Overwatch 2 it looks pretty cool. Oh, wait, what is up with Sigma's ass crack? Why does he have zero ass? Man's has zero cake. That's literally just Lucio for you. Motherfucker gets his ult at the worst possible times. I'm convinced that Lucio is to be designed so that he gets his ultimate at the worst possible situations. They just made Lucio a really situational character, which is, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Because if you think about it, he is kind of a situational character, like his kit in general. I think for a while, he's going to stay a situational character. Unless they buff him, which I doubt they will. I don't even remember the last time they changed Lucio. I think the last time they actually touched Lucio was when they made Lucio 2.0. And for anybody who didn't play Overwatch at that time, Lucio basically used to have, his aura used to be giant to the point where I could probably be like over there on that staircase and if my team was like in the choke point right there I would probably still be able to give them my aura and then they made Lucio 2.0 is what people started calling it they made his aura a lot smaller they also made his abilities a lot stronger also when they made him a lot faster they also introduced he's always been able to wall ride but every time you hop off a wall you gain more speed even if you're not on speed boost even if you don't speed amp if I were to simply go on heal mode and hop on a wall after wall after wall, I would continuously gain speed as long as I don't bump into anything, obviously, and destroy my momentum. Fuck off that high ground. Let's see. Matter of fact, I'm gonna wait there. Cog. This is exactly what I'm talking about. Look at, my, look at me at 99 percentage with my whole fucking team dead. God, I understand I died, but for fuck's sake. I actually might win that. Hold up. Wait, actually we win that. It's 2 CP for you. Once again, thank God they're getting rid of 2 CP in Overwatch 2. That's honestly the best thing they've ever done. 2CP is never, was never, has never, and will never be a good game mode. Oh, that mercy's done. ass here, baby. Ooh! Look at her dumbass. She thought she ate with that fortified, so that's funny as hell. What the fuck is this? What is- Bro, what? Wait, 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 I can get beat. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Huge! Wow, I'm crazy. It's not funny anymore. It's not even a joke. You know how long I contested there? I don't know why I kill five and we still lose, but that's fine. Well, that's because it's two CP and we respawn in like two seconds. Like, it literally doesn't matter if you kill five. If you literally just have one person that'll stall until your teammates respawn, it basically like doesn't even matter. Anyway, that is going to be it for this video. I really do hope you guys enjoyed this one. My most recent video and my most recommended video for you is going to pop up on the screen right now. So if you want to check any of those out, definitely go ahead. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace out, y'all. Like, why would
when she fuck with a boring ass nigga when she could be fucking a rapper